so it is shoot day. I've just arrived at the train station, so I'm heading to London now. Um, as you can see, I'm rather orange. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to the day. It's going to be really good. I'm going to do my makeup on the train, and to be honest, my hair is always just a wash pot and what it is is what it is. <laughs> um, I'm actually early fonts. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to take advantage of that and not make myself late now. So, yeah, I will um, catch you in a minute. Yeah. I've forgotten my mirror, so this is what we're currently working with. Yeah, it's a little bit more uh, exploring. So, God knows what my makeup's going to turn out like. station now honestly walking around with this bag on my back bear in mind it must weigh about seven kilos <sighs> in these shoes the worst idea ever oh my god someone's having a fight you know where i am now <laughs> i'm telling you now it is literally boiling my shoulders are killing from carrying this backpack and i just feel like i'm gonna die Black Ice Bikini. I'm so excited to pick it up. I've just seen it and it literally looks insane. I'm not going to show you the colour, but I will show you what it looks like. So excited to try it on.
so my thoughts going into the British so I'm a few days out now and honestly I feel defeated deflated just absolutely run down you know like this prep has been the hardest prep well you know I've done literally two preps but this prep has been so hard like I'm doing like two hours cardio a day um, an hour and 15 minutes wait five days a week you know I'm getting up at 5 a.m. I'm going to bed at half ten you know I'm doing cardio in my lunch hours too just like because if I wake up like 15 minutes late like I have to make that up like there's no time before or after work it has to be done during work and I'm just absolutely worn out of it like well and truly worn out um, I'm not where I need to be you know like I look at my checking pictures and I'm, they don't make me happy like it's just it's been a massive learning curve for me um, like I'll never make this mistake again like after the British I'm gonna just stay on plan like I'm gonna stick to my reverse diet <sighs> like I mentioned in my last video I would explain about my binge eating now binge eating is something that I've had forever but I just didn't have a name for it because it was never an issue and binge eating isn't something that's spoke about very much you know people speak about anorexia they speak about bulimia but no one talks about a binge eating disorder and it's probably just as common if not more it just sounds ridiculous to say oh yeah I could just eat too much for you it's like really we'll just eat less then do you know what I mean it just sounds ridiculous like especially when you're like an athlete and you're someone who's in shape if I say I you know oh yeah I, I struggle with binge eating people look at me and be like really really though and it's like yeah but you don't get it um so it's just something I've never really spoke about and it's never been an issue until my last show when as I mentioned in my last video I put on 10 kilos now I'd love to sit here and say oh yeah it was inflammation it was water retention and all the rest of it but in reality we're up to like seven weeks per show at the time and I was still gaining weight and I was up to 10 kilos so six weeks later we're on the sixth week now so four days out and I've made this prep so so difficult by eating the amount that I have and like the amount of work that I've had to do to try and correct that in the shortest space of time it's just been insane and um, prep is a privilege and that's what I keep reminding myself like I'm choosing to do this I committed to, to com competing in the British Championships um, and you know what whatever placing I get I'm deserving of it if I, it's not what I want or not what I ideally would have wanted then I deserve it because the girls that could potentially do better they obviously worked harder they obviously deserve it more and that's how I'm gonna have to see it and, and don't get me wrong that's not easy for me to say like I'm not a it's a taking part that counts kind of person like on any level it's not how I've been raised like through the entire my entire childhood it was like second is the first loser you know so it's it's just not it's not easy for me to to deal with that but it is what it is right now I'm just looking forward to seeing the final result and seeing if me and Joel are going to be able to work some miracles over the next f four days. Um, but yeah, on the next video you will see me battle it out against the best in Britain. Whoever comes out on top will not only be British champion, but potentially the new IFBB Wellness Pro. For now, I'm going to leave it there. Catch you again on show day. See you in the next one.